everyone is the time and an update now to breaking news that we first brought you last night. We have learned a second child has died after an accident that already claimed the life of another teen and seriously injured a third person. Yeah, this horrific accident happened about 9 p.m. yesterday at Oakland and Holbrook on Detroit's east side. 7 Action News reporter Julie Vanovich joins us live with the latest on this tragedy. Julie. Hi, Alicia and Vic. Police are telling us that the driver of that vehicle with the children, that they were driving too fast. And when they hit that semi truck, they slammed into it going more than 40 miles above the speed limit in that area. Take a look at some of the video from last night. Unbelievable. The driver and the two children, they are riding in that Chevy Cheville Super Sport that you see in the video. The majority of it is just all crunched in. The area is a 30 mile per hour speed zone, but police say that the Chevy was traveling anywhere from 70 to 80 miles per hour when it hit the semi. Now, the accident happened around 9 30 last night, and we're getting a few conflicting reports on the ages of the children at this hour, but we are told that one of the children is around 14 years old. That child was the passenger and ejected from the car and died last night. A second child, 12 years old, was riding in the back seat and died this morning. The driver, who is between 30 and 35 years old, is still in critical condition. We talked to some people who were nearby the accident when it happened and actually tried and to help and perform CPR on the kids. I see it's just so sad because the little boy is the same age as my son and that he was getting picked up for football practice just like my son was being picked up from CPR. I mean, football practice. And it's just like, we got to do better. We got to slow down. We got to look, think about our kids. Again, those two children are dead, the driver in critical condition. Now, the driver of the semi truck, we're told that uh, that person is okay. They were taken to the hospital just as a precaution. Live from Detroit, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.